Hi friends, in this video, we will see the course introduction of elective subject Automobile Engineering. This is an elective subject for final year mechanical engineering students under Savitribai Phule Pune University. We will see what is importance and need of this subject and why should we learn this subject. We look the course introduction. Then objectives and outcomes of this course, syllabus in detail, which reference books are useful for the preparation of this subject and at the last we will see some university question papers. So watch the video till end. As a mechanical engineer we should have the basic knowledge of automobile engineering. There are many automotive industries like Tata Motors, Mahindra and Mahindra, Peugeot, Ashok Leyland, Maruti Suzuki and many more. Where we have job opportunities. So this subject has more importance. Now the era is changing. The engine will be replaced by electric motor in coming future. So every mechanical engineer graduate student should have the fundamental knowledge of electric vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles and solar vehicles also. This subject is just introductory subject. Actually automobile engineering is a branch of engineering in which we study all about the automobiles and have practice to propel them. We know that there is three years diploma course in automobile engineering. Some behoved courses also there. Many universities and autonomous institutes are run undergraduate degree course in automobile engineering. We can do the specialization in automobile engineering. There is post graduation course in automobile engineering that is ME or M. Later we can do the doctorate also in different areas of automobile engineering. So this subject has a wide scope. Automotive companies are recruiting mechanical engineering students also. However, there are students with specialization of automobile engineering because most of the syllabus is common to mechanical engineering and automobile engineering. Automobile engineering is a field related with vehicle design, development, production and safety testing. Automobile engineers work to improve technical performance of automotive, vehicle aesthetics and automotive software. They can work in different specialization like control system, aerodynamics, fluid mechanics and emission control. Some of the career prospects in the field of automobile engineering are automotive engineering technicians, automotive design engineer, automotive engineer, automobile designer, vehicle dynamics controller, safety engineering, emission research, NVH engineer that is noise, vibration and harshness, performance engineer, designing etc. Now, See the syllabus structure. This is elective subject. However, the structure of syllabus is the same like other subject. Except practicals. This subject has no practicals. It has 30 marks in same examination on first 3 units and 70 marks in same examination on whole syllabus. There will be 3 lectures per week. Now move towards the objectives and outcomes of this subject. The course objectives are to make the students conversant with fundamentals of automobile systems, to develop competencies in performance analysis of vehicles, to make the students conversant with automobile safety, electric system and vehicle maintenance, to understand the emerging trends of electric vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles and solar vehicles. Now the course outcomes are, on the completion of this course, students will be able to compare and select the proper automotive system for the vehicle, to analyze the performance of the vehicle, to diagnose the fault of automobile vehicles and to apply the knowledge of electric vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles and solar vehicles. Now we will see the course contents. The first unit is introduction and drive train. Here we have to learn the current scenario in Indian auto ancillary industries. 
vehicle specifications and the classification. The next sub point is chassis and frames. Here we have to learn the types of chassis layout with reference to power plant locations and drive, various types of frames and the construction details. The next sub point is drive frame. We have to see types of transmission system, necessity and selection of clutch, necessity of gearbox and different types, fluid flywheel, torque converter, CVT that is continuous variable transmission, overhaul drive, propeller shaft, final drive and the differential gearbox. Axles, fields and tires, steering system, this is second unit and this unit is divided into three subsections that are axles, fields and tires and steering system. Here we have to see purpose, requirement and types of front and rear axle, loads acting on rear axles etc. Under fields and tires we have to see field construction, alloy field, field balancing, types of tires, tire construction, tire materials and factors affecting on tire life. We have to see the steering system in detail and the points are steering mechanism, steering geometry, cornering force, slip angle, scrub radius, steering characteristics, steering linkages and gearbox, power steering, collapsible steering, reversibility of steering, four wheel steering and the feet alignment. Third unit is suspension and brake system. Under suspension we have to see types of suspension linkages and types of suspension springs that is leaf, coil, air spring, hydro gas, rubber suspension, interconnected suspension, self leveling suspension that is active suspension and shock absorber that is hydraulic and air etc. We have to see different types of brakes that is drum, disc, mechanical, hydraulic, air brakes, vacuum brakes, power assisted brakes, hand brakes, ABS and ABD. Fourth unit is vehicle performance and safety. Here we have to learn vehicle performance parameters, vehicle resistances, traction and tractive effort, power requirement for propulsion, road performance curves. Here we have to solve the numericals. Then stability of vehicles, vehicle testing on chassis dynamometer, etc. Under vehicle safety, we have to study different types of active and passive safety, vehicle interior and ergonomics, and NPH in automobiles. Fifth unit is electrical system and vehicle maintenance. There are three subsections under this unit batteries electrical system and accessories and the maintenance. Here we have to learn the principles and construction of lead acid battery, characteristics of battery, rating capacity and efficiency of batteries, various tests on battery condition, charging methods, introduction to lithium batteries, etc. Under electrical system and accessories, we have to study insulated and earth return systems positive and negative earth systems, electrical fuel pump, speedometer, fuel meter, oil and temperature gauges, horn, wiper system, automotive sensors and actuators, electrical control unit or module, etc. Under maintenance, we have to see different types of vehicle maintenance and also we have to see servicing or overhauling of clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, differential, Excels, steering system, suspension system, brake system, electrical system, etc. Last unit is electric and hybrid electric vehicles. Here we have to see concept and environmental importance of electric vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles and solar vehicles. We have to see layout and construction and working of electric vehicles. Also we have to see types and layout of hybrid electric vehicles, hybridization factor, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, fuel efficiency analysis and we have to see challenges and the future scope of electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles.
reference books there are many books are available which can be referred to prepare this subject here i will recommend some books this is very nice book of automobile engineering by rb gupta you can refer it this is another book by sk gupta s chand publication next one by kirpal singh this is very famous book you can refer it again this is a textbook of automobile engineering by rk rajput you can refer it also this is a book by khanna publication written by jbs naran this is one more book by s srinivasan you can refer it also apart from this you can refer local authors book like technology publications tech max publication etc where you can find university questions included under each topic previous year question papers are also provided exam point of view you can refer these books also now we will see some question papers of ncm and ncm examination you can pause the video and analyze the question paper 